All right, so welcome again to NYU Alumni 101. I'll be joined, as you heard, by my colleague Tati LaFleur in the Office of Alumni Relations, in addition to three amazing alumni volunteers, Carolyn Choi from the NYU Alumni Association and Recent Alumni Network, Daniel Esquivel from the NYU Alumni Club in Los Angeles and NYU's program site in LA, and Mike Chen from the NYU Alumni Association and Shanghai Global Alumni Council. We'll see more from them later today. Tati, you can go ahead and step out if you want. You don't have to sit here the whole time. <laughs> cool. Okay, class, we are going to cover six topics in under 30 minutes and allow time for Q&A at the end. Please feel free to communicate with any of your hosts at any time using the Q&A feature in Zoom. The purpose of today is to teach you about how to get connected and how to use your benefits. Following today's webinar, we will send out a cheat sheet with helpful links. So grab a snacky snack and let's get started. The NYU Alumni Association is the umbrella organization that unites all graduates and keeps you connected to your alma mater. Representing over 500,000 living alumni, the NYU Alumni Association is the largest network of any private university in the United States. I'll say that again, the largest network of any private university in the United States. Membership begins upon graduation and is free for life. Here you can see our recent alumni network co-chairs raising their glasses at the recent alumni reunion during alumni weekend 2017 at One World Observatory. The mission of the NYUAA is to build and sustain a lifelong relationship between the university and its alumni through a long list of initiatives like communications, events and programs, volunteer opportunities, recognizing alumni accomplishments and service through awards, supporting the fund for NYU and the NYUAA scholarship, providing benefits and resources to all alumni, and being an avenue for feedback from the alumni community to the NYU administration. The 70 plus board of directors serve three year terms and working committees to meet the mission. Pictured here is CAS alum Erin Schrode, who was recognized last year for her work in establishing a sustainable food business in Puerto Rico and becoming a global spokesperson for social impact and millennials. You can actually watch her full highlight video on the NYU alumni website. The NYU Alumni Association charters networks and clubs to provide further engagement and connection within the community. Here's just a sample of an event last year with the Arts and Entertainment Alumni Network for Alumni Weekend. Jessica Brittany Smith here got the golden buzzer on NYU's Got Talent. These groups are led by alumni volunteers and supported by NYU staff and administrators. In addition to staying connected to your schools and academic programs, this is a great first step to getting involved. While our recent alumni parties used to look something like the top photo and now look a little bit more like the bottom photo, we are still bringing you strong and interesting programs. Alumni have helped form 23 affinity clubs, primarily based in New York City, although in our new world, that really doesn't matter, does it? As you can see from this list, some groups are based upon identity, like the Women's Initiative or the Military and Veteran Network. Some are based upon career or personal interest, like alumni in tech or the blockchain club. I'm still trying to figure out what blockchain means. Um, and some are based upon your student involvement. Did you write for the Washington Square News or were you a RA? There's a club for that. And just to be honest, activities and communications from these clubs range widely from a few events a, a month to a few events a year. And on that note, all of our clubs are always seeking leadership. Have an event idea, interest in leading a club, it's easy to raise your hand and work with alumni office staff to become a volunteer and make an impact. The Black Alumni Network is one of our most active clubs and here is one of their paint nights. They are celebrating Juneteenth this week with a reflection event on Friday afternoon specific for the Black alumni community and their annual Beyonce dance class. The LGBTQ plus alumni network has regularly participated in the Pride March and they have an event coming up tonight, Pride Trivia, if you'd like to tile in. The Latinx Alumni Network won an award last year for their Latinx Film Festival with Ramon Riguez from Tisch. And the recent Alumni Network welcomes all graduates within the last 10 years. And here we go. For more on the fo this photo, I'd like to welcome to the stage our first guest, Carolyn Choi, who is familiar with recent alumni programs and all of our opportunities in the New York City area. Carolyn, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience? Hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes. 
Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everyone. I'm Carolyn. I graduated from Steinhardt in 2016, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the affinity groups. So I am personally a part of the recent alumni network, which is an organization focused on social and learning and development programming within the greater New York City area. So we do anything from happy hours. Um, we used to do something called Third Thursdays, where the third Thursday of the month, we would bring the RAND community together and we would do things like trivia or bingo and there would be fun prizes. Um, that's an example of kind of more, a more of a fun social event that we've planned. We've also done things in conjunction with the Wasserman Center um, to do some career development workshops as well or like LinkedIn headshots in the past. So we do a little bit of everything. Um, for those of you um, that were more involved in the undergrad space, you can almost consider this as an extension of the class activities board, which I was conveniently a part of when I was an undergrad student. So it's definitely a wonderful way to transition away from that and more into the alumni community. Beyond RAN, we do have, um, as Tim mentioned on that slide, a lot of different other affinity networks as well. Um, for example, you know, like Tim mentioned, the LGBTQ plus um, organization is doing a lot of different things um, during this time, especially since it's Pride Month. So there is that trivia night happening later today, I believe at nine. Um, and then we also have the Black Alumni Network doing an event later this week too. Beyond that, we have the Latinx network, and I believe we have, you know, the different networks within the different cities as well. So um, there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And so I'm really excited to tell you more if you have more questions. And Caroline, after you graduated in 2016, um, aside from me roping you in, you did get involved and, and uh, connected to alumni. And did you find uh, that useful to start attending events? And what's the first thing that someone would do if they just graduated and they wanted to get connected? Yeah, I would recommend checking out an event that kind of aligns with your immediate interests. I think for myself, um, having not been born and raised in the city and NYU kind of being my only community for four years during undergrad, I wanted to branch out um, outside of, you know, the students that I had gone to class with or did extracurriculars like CAB with. And so, you know, I still wanted to stay within the NYU network, but I wanted to like meet alumni from other years as well. And so RAN was a really great opportunity. And so I just started attending those events pretty quickly right off the bat. Great. Thank you so much, Carolyn. We'll see you back in just a little bit. All right, so a little bit about affinity clubs, but wait, there's more. Approximately 275,000 alumni live in the New York City metro, but the rest cover the globe and have created regional alumni clubs from Hawaii to London to South Africa and beyond. You can see markers on this map representing all of our regional clubs. To be exact, 67 regional clubs keep NYU alumni connected and sharing knowledge in every time zone around the world. And I'll remind you, these clubs are led by alumni volunteers who plan events for people like you. Regional alumni clubs are open to all NYU alumni, regardless of school, college, or degree type. And side note, in our current stay-at-home fantasy, you could attend events all over the world right from your bedroom. 2019 marked the first year of the NYU Pan-Asia Club uh, NYU Pan-Asia Alumni Conference, which was held in Singapore. Last October, hundreds of alumni traveled to Singapore for a full day of panels, lectures, and networking. Unfortunately, Pan-Asia is taking a break for 2020, naturally, but there are still many exciting events happening weekly in that region. Perhaps you are hopeful to move to another region of the world. Maybe you are quarantined at home with family, and so you want to move, you want to get connected. These clubs can help you get to know a new city and get you connected. Now I'd like to welcome our second uh, guest to the stage. Put your hands together for Daniel Escovel from Los Angeles. Daniel, you wanna tell us a little bit about LA and your experience? Yeah, hi, thanks, Tim. Thanks for having me. Um, my name is Daniel Esquivel. I'm the um, co-president of the alumni club here in Los Angeles for the all campus group. So not necessarily um, specific to a particular school at NYU, but all are welcome. Um, in my, in my full-time job, I also serve as the program manager for the NYU Los Angeles Global Site. Um, so similar to NYU London, Paris, Prague, um, NYU LA is the newest global site for the university. So i um, really happy to support students here locally in LA. Um, I am an LA native and I, I went to NYU for my dog's, <laughs> the neighbor's dog's barking, apologies. But 
Um, I went to NYU um, and graduated Steinhardt in 2011 with my master's degree. And um, I really got involved as an alumni after I left because I was only in New York for you know, a short amount of time. And as soon as I got back to LA, I knew I wanted to keep the network alive. Um, there's not enough time in the day to tell you how powerful the NYU network is, no matter what degree program you're in or what school you're in. Um, I, I, I really wanted to get involved here in LA because um, I believe, and Kim can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we in LA have the second largest alumni population outside of the New York you know, tri-state area. There's 15, 16,000 alumni in LA alone. So um, whether you're in arts and entertainment, um, in business, in, in, in any of the facets um, that you might be studying, there, there's a community for you, um, specifically here in LA. But as you saw, there's just so many global sites and, and opportunities for you to get connected. Um, I think that it's, it's just valuable to keep that alive. You never know how it's gonna support you, um, whether it's you know, immediately right after school for a job or years down the road. Um, I graduated nine years ago and I knew when I graduated that I needed to keep it alive and that's why I started volunteering. Um, and lo and behold, in October, I started working for NYU. So um, while it didn't pay off right after I graduated, I kept that network alive, continued to build um, colleagues and friends, both professionally and personally. Um, so I, I'm, I can't say enough about how much um, an important part of my own professional and personal development it's been. Uh, and that's why when Tim contacted me to be here today, I said, of course, let's, let's get together. Um, so as mentioned before, um, do check out all the events that do uh, come your way. Um, and the great thing about being home is that even though, um, you know, regional clubs are sponsoring events like Los Angeles or other global cities, because it's all virtual, you can, you know, really network globally in, in, in this day and age. So um, take advantage of every opportunity. I'm going to put myself on mute now because the dogs are getting a little rowdy. Yeah, thanks, Daniel. That's a great point. Uh, networking globally, that's like the new trend, I guess. All right. Thank you, Daniel. So how do you find out about all these clubs and activities? This won't be my last time saying it today. You need to opt in. Updating your mailing address, email address, and email preferences with the Office of Alumni Relations should be on your to-do list every time anything changes. And right now, I won't know if you toggle out and make this update right now as I'm speaking. One of the best ways to stay up to date with NYU and fellow alumni is to follow us on social media, NYU alumni on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and liking club pages like the San Francisco page here will help bring NYU stories into your social media feed. Thanks, Tim. So with so many clubs and networks, there are always so many events to attend. Now, I know what you're thinking. These people are not wearing any masks and they're not sitting six feet apart, but whether planned by our volunteers or our clubs or designated staff members, events are now focused on your safety. We're used to presenting a menu of 700 events each year as one of your exclusive alumni benefits. Alumni weekend is your annual homecoming in October. The alumni awards are usually in the spring. Speaker on the square and alumni access are special New York City based events and so on. No one can predict whether we will all feel comfortable meeting fellow alumni in person again. It could be this fall, it could be next fall, but fear not, we are on it. Um, while we know Zoom has temporarily taken over your life, your work life, your personal life, your social life, and yes, your alumni connections life, it's our way of connecting with you. This slide is an event that was recently held by our recent alumni network, where they hosted a free yoga evening a few weeks ago, which led to some great reviews and, as you can imagine, some sore muscles. Now, raise your hand if you've had Professor Height in class. Now, that might have been a trick question since he is from Stern, but this faculty series, which we call Five Questions With, engages hundreds of alumni each week, and most recordings can be found on the alumni website. As long as you're opted in, you will receive a weekly digest announcing your many options for this week and coming up. You can register anytime until the event and receive the event link to continue learning and connect with your alumni network. So far, these events have been offered for free over the past three months. 
anything from a 30 minute webinar to a happy hour. These are a great way to connect with alumni all over the world and learn something new. So I know that was a lot. So here's a summary. The NYUAA, also known as the NYU Alumni Association, is completely free. You are actually already in it. You're automatically in it from the time that you graduate. Um, we host more than 700 events per year, and there are more than 90 networks and clubs that you can be a part of. Now, with travel being removed as a barrier, you can now attend a trivia night in Los Angeles or a happy hour in Israel within 24 hours. So be sure to review your preferences and opt in. Great. And so in addition to events, there's other ways to connect virtually to the NYU network. Maybe you need a job. Maybe you want a mentor. Perhaps you are in a position to be a mentor to a student. Just launched in April, the Violet Network is your online community uh, and over 4,500 alumni have joined so far. So let's drive on over to the Violet Network, shall we? This is a great tool and again, a brand new tool that uh, you can use to connect to other alumni in your area and all over the world. Once you go to the Violet Network and create your uh, individual login, you'll go in and have a, a page like this with a menu at the top. And the best place to go first is to explore the community. So let's say that you are job searching and you have seen a, a job at Facebook. And so you'd like to leverage the NYU Network and see who worked at Facebook. You can quickly go here, type in the word Facebook and the 37 active users that are already in here that uh, have worked at Facebook or currently do show up. I like to use uh, Dasha Ratu as the highlight because she is our newest NYUAA board president and she used to work at Facebook. She on her profile at the bottom mentions the, the ways that she wants to help students and other graduates and alumni in, in her role. And then you can simply click here to send her a message. So it's a great way to explore the community and search based upon many options to find uh, of those 4,500 that have joined so far. And that number is growing every day. There's also groups. You can see that I have the New York City Metro group on my list, but there are groups based upon region and uh, interest and affinity. Um, the most active group thus far since April is actually the NYU Arts and Entertainment Alumni Network group. So go in, post something that you're interested in. This jobs feed, just to let you know, is a direct feed from Handshake which is another tool for you to continue to use as an alum. But here's another spot where you can find it. Just to highlight LinkedIn as another opportunity um, that uh, you could use here, you know that when you go to LinkedIn, you can search for New York University. Over here on the left, you'll see a spot to see alumni. And remember, we said a half million living alumni. Well, this is how many alumni are on LinkedIn, which is pretty significant. You can search by class years here. You can search by title or company. You can search where they live, where they work. And this is another easy way to connect and find alumni that are in the industry that you want to be in. Just as a side note, as we say, LinkedIn is where everyone is and Violet Network is where the people who have actually raised their hand and said, I want to be a mentor. So just something to consider there. Back to Tati. All right, so let's talk about these school programs. Every school and college has their own alumni programming to help you stay connected directly with your faculty and school. This is a photo of the College of Arts and Sciences annual summer event at the Bronx Zoo. We are already very excited for this event in 2021. So while some schools have their own alumni associations, such as CAS and Tandon, all schools have events and communications specific to their alumni. You may receive bi-weekly newsletters from our colleagues in Steinhardt, Tisch, or SPS. There are dedicated staff who are here to help you get connected and staff involved with your school and department. Reach out to them to have a Zoom coffee chat. Yes, Zoom everything. Career development resources vary per school, but we will later touch on the resources available to all. Lastly, schools often recognize their alumni, and here is a sample of that from where Tommy Kadurhi received the CAS Alumni Achievement Award for all of his hard work as a Broadway producer. 
To highlight a few school traditions that you might want to follow, many schools offer signature programs in the spring and join together for alumni weekend in the fall. Gallatin's Alumni College happens on the first weekend in June every year and is a wonderful way to connect and continue learning. SPS Alumni Awards and Steinhardt, alumni, and Steinhardt Annual Alumni Art Show is in the fall. Stern's reunion and the Tisch Gala occur in April. Tandon welcomes back all Tandon and Polly alumni every spring for Back to School Day, which is a well-attended tradition, even if online this year. Tandon has an Alumni Advisory Council that celebrates women in engineering, and Tisch has a script peer review group that has been very popular these past few months. There will be a link to each school program in the cheat sheet to follow, or you can contact your alumni school director to get involved. Here are some of our recent alums from Abu Dhabi and Shanghai. And speaking of Shanghai, I would like to welcome to the stage Mike Chen, who is an NYU Alumni Association board member and graduate from the inaugural class of NYU Shanghai. Mike, will you join us and tell us a little of your story to how you got engaged as an alum? Sure, thanks Tati. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yep. we can. Oh, okay, great. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mike Chen. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. I'm actually currently in Houston right now. Um, I spent most of my life in the South, and when it came to college, I've always dreamed of you know going to New York City for college. So originally, I applied to NYU New York, and that same year, they launched um, NYU Shanghai as a portal campus. So I ended up exploring sort of that channel and taking an offer to be part of the first ever graduating class in Shanghai. And my alumni journey really started, you know, when I was an undergraduate. So junior year, I was involved in some of the marquee events, such as Dinner of Six. Um, senior year, I was involved in a lot of uh, senior year planning events. And when I graduated, I had moved to New York City for my full time job. And at the time, because we were such a new school, we didn't really have uh, an alumni network just for NYU Shanghai. So I volunteered to create and establish the uh, um, Shanghai alumni chapter in New York City. And things just kind of started from there. I also wanted to really get to know people within the New York area, um, which is pretty new to me. And I joined a lot of events hosted by the recent alumni network, for instance. One of my favorites was, I remember, the Fine Plan event that happens every spring. Um, I met a lot of existing board members at these events, made a lot of new friends. And uh, through these opportunities, I had, you know, discovered that there's, there's so many different ways you could volunteer and give back to the community. And some of my favorite events I had joined when I first uh, was in the city was the NYU Alumni Weekend, and also the NYU Global Day of Service. And one thing I wanted to just like emphasize is that once you graduate, just kind of like your lifetime NYU email, you're, you're a lifetime alumni of this amazing uh, network. So I wouldn't treat, you know, joining an alumni event as sort of just like a one off standalone event. It's, it slowly becomes your sort of, you know, your social life, your volunteer life, your professional network all end up converging once you graduate. And there's so many amazing people you need through this network and so many amazing leadership opportunities to explore. Thank you so much, Mike. Mike and I actually work pretty closely together because he is on our recent alumni strategic planning committee. Thank you so, so, so much. We'll see you later at the Q&A panel. Thanks. Staying connected to your NYU community is much more than clubs and events. So let's move into part four of our webinar, which is alumni communications. Our, com our communications team brings you exactly what it is you need to know by sharing your stories, um, sharing alumni, NYU alumni news through email, social media, the alumni website videos, and our print magazine. In addition to the weekly digest, you will also see in your email inbox a monthly newsletter called Alumni Connect in a monthly event digest. These are your tools and reminders for staying connected and informed. 
Another program to highlight while we are here is NYU Changemakers, a selected group of NYU alumni whose accomplishments help build a better world. I hope you all will check them out on our website, find inspiration, and nominate alum next year. As we said before, one of the best ways to stay up to date with NYU and fellow alumni is to follow us on social media. In addition to the latest news, research, and events, these channels are your one-stop shop for a daily dose of Violet Pride. From binge-worthy shows starring and made by NYU alumni to how the NYU community is at the forefront of fighting the pandemic, we share daily stories and updates to keep you connected and in the know. Do you have a story you'd like to share? While we might not get that up on our social media, we are always looking for a new story. So please submit a class note on our website. Back to you, Tim. Thank you. Our last section is something you probably know the least about, your exclusive alumni benefits and discounts. These logos represent companies that offer you something special as an NYU graduate. Prior to today's webinar, you probably have heard about the NYU alumni card. This is your key to showing that you're in the club, but it's not required for most of your benefits. We will soon be mailing physical alumni cards to the recent graduates. These will go to the address on file with NYU or to the address you've updated in the opt-in form. Before I get more into benefits, I do want to mention, again, you do not need the actual physical card to access your benefits. And number two, the card is not an official form of identification and does not grant you access to campus buildings. Now that you're no longer a student for safety reasons, you will need a purpose and permission to enter NYU buildings. Perks Connect, this is the portal to connect to your benefits. The Berks Connect portal lists your alumni benefits negotiated by the NYU Alumni Association and Office of Alumni Relations. It also lists dozens of local offers based upon your zip code. So there are so many discounts on the site to explore. You can find this on the NYU Alumni website. To sign up, you just use the NYU Alumni group code and your alumni status will be verified. To highlight some of the things you'll find, check out this list, 15% off flowers, 15% off car rental, 25% off WeWork, and much more. Do you want a $15 monthly Zipcar membership? How about discounted home and auto insurance through Liberty Luchwell? Uh, Liberty Biberty. We'll just dub that. Uh, find these and more on Perks Connect. Some great on-campus benefits continue after graduation, like lifetime NYU email that Mike mentioned, as long as you use it every six months. And if you have questions about Wi-Fi on campus, use of the library, or continued access to event tickets, the NYU box office, when we have events in person, you can find these on the website. And lastly, while you take a, a gander at the rest of the slide and read through this, what I'm going to do in the chat is drop in the discount code for the NYU Bookstore. So maybe after tonight's event, you can go on over to NYU Bookstore and buy something for 15% off. So check that out. Use NYU alumni on the NYU Bookstore in order to receive 15% off. Your career development benefits continue after graduation, so we hope that you are utilizing your Handshake account. This is the main portal for everything career related. Alumni can register for a one-on-one -on -one virtual career appointment through Handshake. If you need additional support, the Wasserman Center, Wasserman Center can also suggest additional resources and career coaches. I feel like record is skipping. Have I mentioned that you always need to update your contact information and opt in? Sign up for everything we offer and see what happens. You can always change your preferences later. So we do love a summary, another summary. Online events are through our website, stories and announcements on social media, mentors and networking on the Violet Network, benefits and discounts on Perks Connect, and jobs and career help on Handshake. These are all of the tools in your tool toolbox. And now, as we stare at Deborah Messing, I'm going to invite my everyone on our call today back to the stage for a little bit of Q&A and discussion. So as they're coming back, please feel free to drop some questions in the Q&A. I know we have some to uh, look at here at the end. And uh, before we get started, I do just want to ask the panel here, um, if you have one piece of advice for somebody who graduated recently, what, that, what might that be? Would anybody want to go first? 
I can jump in. I'll say um, whether it's virtual or in person, you know, in the coming months, um, attend an NYU alumni event. I think I meet so many alumni who are really scared to go to their first event and they always leave with a smile saying, I was so nervous, I didn't know anybody, but it, it's so great to reconnect with people who, you know, who miss pizza and bagels from New York or who, you know, miss their, their experience in Shanghai or Abu Dhabi. So um, even if you don't know anybody, go to an event. I totally agree with Daniel. I think, you know, personally, when I first moved to the city, I, I knew n almost no other alumni here and uh, NYU alumni community here is so welcoming with open arms and don't be afraid to go to an event. You don't always have to have a friend with you because you will make new friends at these events. These are amazing. Um, you know, there's always great drinks, great snacks at these events as well. Um, so don't be afraid and, and you know, attend events that align with your interests, whether it's a volunteer or a career uh, mentorship type of opportunity. There's there's so many events um, out there that will interest you and you can start building your network from there. I think my advice is um, given that there's going to be a larger variety of virtual programming, take advantage of that, especially if you're not in a location where there's like a club like NYU LA or like a club for NYU Shanghai in New York. Um, you know, just take advantage of the virtual things. If you end up connecting with someone during the virtual event, make sure to stay in touch over LinkedIn or via email because you never know what can happen. That's really great advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there, let's look at these questions really fast. Um, I probably will be the one to answer these and we'll see. Well, I'll, then I'll ask you all some other questions. But uh, there says, could there be an alumni club for disabled students? Also, they want to get involved in RAN, so that's great. Absolutely, there can be a club for disabled students. And so we would love to talk with you more about that. Uh, we uh, uh, have a process for uh, affinity groups to be started, so that would be great. How could I find out more about NYU Silver School of Social Work career development resources? So Silver participates in Handshake and uh, Silver does not currently have uh, the, the position for alumni relations is actually open at Silver. Um, so there is a team there in student affairs that is still working with alumni. So I would reach back to your student affairs office and connect with them, but also for career advice, everyone can go through Handshake. And... Well, this is a great one. So what is your favorite alumni event? My favorite alumni event is Alumni Weekend. And while we don't know how it's going to really look right now, um, it is still happening in October. It will be a really big pizzazz and it will be a great opportunity for you to meet alumni from other schools. So that's kind of the coolest part about the network is now that you have your cohort that you graduated with and that you know, reaching out through all of these other channels. So alumni weekend, yeah. I was gonna say alumni weekend as well. That was the first one I went to. Um, my favorite would probably be um, dinner with six after alumni weekend. Uh, that's something that you can be involved in as a student or as a graduate. And uh, I just think it's an amazing opportunity to meet, you know, not only you know your your peers, but also it's a great opportunity to meet people in the professional world and uh, learn how you know the recruiting process works and. Um, any advice from a career standpoint, regardless of industry, there's always value in uh, meeting someone um, over dinner. And also during this time, uh, Dinner with Six is also available uh, virtually. So um, Carolyn, uh, you've hosted one recently. I've hosted one. A lot of people I know have hosted one and it's, it's, it's an incredible opportunity um, to be a part of. Yeah, I was gonna say dinner with six too. That's like my favorite. Um, I def I participated one. I think my first or second year as an undergrad at NYU, and then um, came full circle when I hosted one on the other side, and it was really awesome to meet um, with some of you all. I would say quickly, I can't pick a favorite, but I will say my favorite type of events are community service events. Um, we in LA have always been really mindful of giving back to the community and doing a few community service events um, each, you know, a few a per, per year. Um, and I like them the most because, you know, throughout the whole year, there are a slew of events, whether it's a small happy hour to you know, a 500 person gala where you're just meeting so many people, but usually our community service events are no more than 10 to 15 people. And I get to authentically meet 10 to 15 new people that I didn't know before. 
um, while doing something that's meaningful. So I've always appreciated those. Tati, what's your favorite event so far? I'm biased. I'm definitely with Mike and Carolyn, dinner with six, because I mean, they help us out. First of all, I manage the student alumni council who they're the main ones who run dinner with six. So yes, great answer, great answer. It just provides alumni and students an opportunity to meet in an informal setting. It doesn't have to be formal. It removes the formality. So students and alumni can feel comfortable just having a conversation with one another. And dinners with six actually lead to a lot of relationships rooted in mentorship for the students and the alums. So yes, participate in one, raise your hand to go ahead and host the dinner. I know, I think I saw a question in the Q&A, but dinner with six question mark. Um, traditionally, before Corona, what would happen is the alum would host a set of six students at um, a restaurant of their choice. If not a restaurant, then they can host them at their workspace and they give them an opportunity to just talk and have a conversation. And dinner would be on the alum. Um, but for dinner with six during COVID-19, we've actually held them virtually. So while it does remove the dinner component, it still allows for the opportunity to alums and students to remain engaged with each other. Terrific. There is a question, and I, I raise this to the panel, any events for much older alumni? So we don't sp specifically say um, a, an age group for our events typically, but what, what are your thoughts on, on older alumni who want to get engaged for the first time? My recommendation would be to um, see what kind of opportunities are going to happen um, during alumni weekend, which will be taking place later this year. Um, I have found, you know, just from personal experience that that is the best opportunity for myself as a recent alum um, to meet with, you know, alumni from all years. And so I would say that is definitely a really good start and then figure out like which community makes the most sense for you after attending alumni weekend. I would agree. I don't know that there's a specific event, but I, I, I know at least I'm thinking of one event here in LA. I had the most recent alumni who graduated the week prior and the least recent alumni who graduated about 40 plus years before that. So, um, so there's, I wouldn't say there's specific opportunity, but, um, but you'd be surprised at least here in LA and I'm sure for other locations around the world that there we're just such a large group of everyone that you're, you're bound to meet someone uh, in your age range, in your in your, in your specific school or our area of interest, so um, I, I wouldn't necessarily discount age as a as a barometer for not participating. I I, I would challenge you to throw yourself out there, and um, and if you do see a need for a particular population, to Tim's point before in the question about um, a disabled student group or alumni group rather, um, there's always opportunity to create something for what you want it to look like. I guess just to take it to an extreme, um, we do have uh, the Persari Society, which is our group of alumni who have graduated 50 plus years ago. And you, if you graduated 50 years ago or more, you're inducted into that society and they have an event at Alumni Weekend, uh, which does bring out that uh, a group of people that have graduated from 1970 and before. And that's a really fun event to uh, see people reminiscing about NYU and we will be doing a lot of those things in October, so you can look look out for that. Um, let's see. Some of these are very specific, so we might type the answers. Um, let's see. How does Wasserman Alumni Services relate to Stern CCWP? They seem to overlap and not be coordinated. Also, there were points asked for N number. So uh, from my experience, I don't know if from your all's experience, but uh, NYU as an alum logging in, uh, you do often still have to use your net ID, not very often your N number, but using your net ID to, and the single sign-on still uh, if you're a recent graduate. And if you're not a recent graduate, you can uh, reach out to through, and there's information on the NYU alumni website about reaching out to IT, or you can simply email us at alumni.info at nyu.edu, and we can assist you in getting uh, connected to those things. 
Um, I don't think any of us on the line here are Stern related, but Stern does have many of these same benefits that they offer to their alumni. Whereas everything we spoke about is offered to all alumni, Stern has something specific just for Stern and many of the other schools do as well. So Stern has a separate Wasserman, a separate career uh, services. Uh, and so it might very well seem like that they are not connected because they are separate and work independently. And if you wanted to be a mentor, how does that work? Leave my information and students contact me. Well, this is new for all of us, but the Violet Network is the best place. That is where mentoring is going to happen from now on. So for, like I said, 4,500 people have joined the Violet Network now, and then the students are going to be invited into the Violet Network in a few months. So currently it's just class of 2020 and alumni and students will be invited in the fall, but that's the spot to raise your hand and be a mentor. If you're interested in joining, uh, hosting a dinner with six in the fall that Tati and Mike and Carolyn all mentioned, there is a spot on the alumni website. Honestly, the fastest way to get there is Googling NYU dinner with six and uh, you'll find a spot where you can get in touch with us and uh, sign up to host one. Well, does anybody have a, a favorite benefit that they have used? I got a discount to Crunch, uh, the Crunch Gym in New York City. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty expensive in New York too. Um, just by giving them my NYU email. Um, I, I didn't even have to use like the alumni card, uh, which I had like misplaced for a long time. But um, the NYU email like got me the discount for a whole year. Well, let me tell you. So I'm not really like a Broadway fanatic, but Tim is a Broadway fanatic. And so um, <laughs> and so we have um, our alumni access and through alumni access, I was able to attend Hades Town and actually attend a talk back there after with Tim. So that was really fun. The one I haven't tried yet, but I've been I've been meaning to. I think it's called the Voracious Violet Book Club. Um, you know, having graduated in 2011, I feel like I'm I'm now missing being in the classroom. So I think something like a book club would be something really fun to to keep abreast of literature and, and stay connected with folks. So on my to do list for sure. Yeah. Um, lastly, I think mine is the discount that you get to the bookstore. So I believe that there's going to be the discount shared with you all, I think during or after this call, and you can get 15% off from the bookstore. So I still live in New York. And so I have definitely not taken advantage of that discount. But now that I know, I will definitely get something for my parents or something for alumni weekend. Terrific. Um, and this last one is just thanking us for the alumni e-library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think that that really says it up, sums it up for us, <laughs> says it up. Uh, great, this is recorded. So uh, thank you so much to Daniel and Carolyn and Mike and Tati for joining me tonight. It was fun. Like I said, it was going to be short and sweet, packed with information. So I hope that everybody watching learned something. And do we have any final thoughts or words from the, the group here? Yeah, I'll start off. Just welcome to the alumni community again. Um, this is information overload for you all, but you know, rest assured there are a lot of other details that you can find at any point in time on the website. You can also Google some of these networks very quickly. So if you want to look up NYU Los Angeles alumni on Google, I'm pretty sure you'll get Daniel's information in the top hit on the website and you'll find my information on the recent alumni network page too. So um, there is, I think, an alumni events page within the alumni website where you can see a full list of everything that's coming up. So I would recommend checking that out during the summer. So I know these are trying times for everyone with the pandemic and what's going on in the media, but I do want to remind you that you are supported by this alumni network that you have, okay? This is exclusive, okay? Not every school has over half a million alumni that they can turn to. So please do use the resources and it's very important to get connected and make connections. So, yeah. Great. 
You want to say anything, Dan or Mike? I was just going to agree. I, I think all of that's great. Stay connected, get involved, stay safe, healthy, and take care of yourself. Yeah, I wanted to say to those who have just graduated, congratulations. Um, it's a huge feat to graduate, especially, you know, during this um, crazy environment. And although it's, it's hard, you know, to go through a pandemic uh, at the same time, you know, it makes a lot of these events easy, really easily accessible. You can just log on and jump on a Zoom call and go to any event that you want um, without, you know, location barriers or anything. So I also think this is a good opportunity to, you know, participate. Um, the free time that you might have. Absolutely. So on that note, again, thank you for joining us tonight. We know on a Wednesday evening it's hard and hopefully we'll see you at a future alumni event. Be well, everyone.